front side cutbacks are, um, I would say, essential to learn how to do because they really open up your surfing. What you're looking for with the cutback is, is really timing. If you do a cutback too early, the way's too steep, it, 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 it pushes you, you know, into the, into, the, into the beach and you don't really get a chance to kind of draw it around. If you wait too long and you, have, you don't have enough speed, you get too far ahead of the wave. Sooner or later, you gotta figure out that in order to stay kind of in the critical spot of the wave, sometimes you're gonna be going faster. And so that's where a cutback really comes in. Keep your eyes basically focused on where you want your board to be. And a, a good cutback, let's say it's a roundhouse, what we're basically looking to do is we're, we're capitalizing on a little bit of speed that we have going into the turn. We're banking it and we're keeping the speed throughout the entire turn and we're timing it. And so you're doing roundhouse cutback, banking it, using your left hand to kind of plant that, that center. And then as the wave is coming back, you're looking for it and then you almost do like a backside hit off of the whitewash as it's coming back around backside hit it pushes you then right back into the wave and essentially like most turns if you're doing it right you should end up with as much speed almost as you had when you began the turn so that bank turn hit right off of the whitewash as it's coming around and then surfing right out of it